So you can now ring rounds. What are the skills that you need to be able to move on and ring changes successfully? It is absolutely essential that you are able to control your bell and handle it correctly. It is also essential that you are able to hear your bell and pick it out from the others. You will also need to learn how to lead accurately and consistently and with an open hand stroke gap. You will need to know and be able to count what place you are ringing in. You will also need to develop your sense of rhythm. It's very difficult to learn to ring changes if the ringing is uneven. You will also need to learn how to be able to adjust the speed of your bell, to be able to make it ring slightly slower or slightly quicker than round speed. This video contains a number of useful exercises to help you to be able to do this. So, what do we mean by being able to handle your bell correctly? Your instructor will be able to guide you, but you should be able to ring rounds at a steady speed like those we have just heard. Don't try to progress too fast. You really need to be ready to learn to ring changes. If you are not ready, you will really struggle to learn and make progress. However, there are plenty of exercises which your instructor can show you to help improve your handling and rope skills. Remember, it's always better to break up complicated tasks into a series of much simpler tasks and then learn things one simple step at a time. Being able to hear your bell is always quite difficult. However, there is a simple technique which can help you learn and acquire this skill. All you need to do is count along to the beat, starting with the treble. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Try doing this for yourself. By counting the beat, you should be able to tell whether it is your bell that is striking incorrectly. In this example, the third is striking too quickly on both strokes. In this example, the third is striking late on both strokes. The other thing you may have noticed is that there is a convention in ringing that we leave a pause at the end of each bar. This is known as an open hand stroke gap before the bell which is leading begins the next row. Leading is especially difficult because of the time delay between pulling your bell and the bell striking. In addition, this time delay varies from bell to bell, especially between lighter bells and heavier bells. Pull. 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 
Let's just watch that again in slow motion. The ringer pulls the rope now, but it doesn't strike to here. He then pulls it again now, but the bell doesn't strike to here, just as the clapper catches up with the bell. Just watch how the clapper starts on one side of the bell and then swings across right at the end of the stroke. So if you can't rely on looking, how do you make sure you get your lead in the right place? The answer is that you need to listen in order to get your leading exactly right. Looking can only be a guide. The problem is also that at normal speed, everything happens too quickly to see what's going on. So we're going to try things in slow motion. You'll see the tenor pull at backstroke then shortly after the treble pulls at hand. Then the tenor pulls at hand stroke and then the treble pulls at back. Then the tenor pulls at back stroke and a little bit later the treble pulls at hand. Then the tenor pulls at hand stroke and immediately after the treble pulls at back.